Hey there all craft beer lovers, it's the Cider Fanatic here with another beer for you guys to enjoy with me in this review. We are going to the Netherlands today guys and we are taking a look at an offering from a Brewery de Moorsleutel and this is their Wanna Taste My Candy Cane Winter Imperial Stout. So yeah, lovely artwork guys lovely Christmassy artwork there very kind of nice party looking uh, art artwork there so winter stout so we have a 440 ml can and it clocks in at 11% ABV it contains water malted barley hops yeast cinnamon star anise clove and orange peel so yeah it sounds like a Kind of a German or Swedish spiced wine, I would say. So it could it could go either way. So I'm not perhaps the biggest fan of a uh, yeah a stout in this tradition. But I mean, I saw it. I had to try it. So yeah, let's give it a go, guys. Let's see what we have done. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. No smoke detected there, so let's get this out into a glass. So yeah, this is my first offering I have ever tried from a brewery De Morsleutel, out of the Netherlands. I haven't tried anything from these guys before, but I have definitely heard of these guys. So, and I have another uh, Imperial Stout on the way, which I have ordered from these guys. So let's see how this one turns out then. Let's see, let's get it in camera. There we go. Yeah, so with that said guys, let's take a look at the beer. So definitely a jet black beer in the glass. Uh, no head whatsoever. The little head that there was dissipated in an instant. Let's get a whiff on this bad boy and see what we are having here. Oh yeah, so up front, I'm getting a little bit of kind of a minty kind of combination of mint and licorice in there. <sighs> yeah, so kind of a little, little bit of cinnamon in there, kind of a herbal note as well. <sighs> yeah, some roasted malts in there for sure. <sighs> yeah, so I mean... Smells interesting, so let's see what we are getting. Cheers, guys! And here's to Brewery de Morsleutel and their Wanna Taste My Candy Cane Imperial Stout. Cheers! Mm. So, yeah, up front, yeah, let's see here. Okay, so up front, guys, I spill a little bit there. So, yeah, it's kind of a, I would say, it's boozy, no doubt about it. It's very boozy, but I mean, go figure, as I said, 11% ABV there. So, I mean, no surprise there. It's a kind of a very, very kind of dry flavor, guys. It's very herbal in character. It gotta be the star anise and the clove in there. So you do get a little bit of that licorice floating around in there. I'm gonna go for another one. Yeah, so it's a kind of a little bit of odd sweetness in there as well. So you got the kind of a booziness, a little bit of sweetness in there. Uh, and you also get that kind of herbal uh, kind of combination of clove, kind of a little bit of, yeah, as I said, star anise, licorice in there. Maybe a touch of cinnamon at the back end of the flavor spectrum as well. So it's a very kind of herbal dominating uh, imperial stout in there. And that sweetness kind of adds to it and it 
actually to be honest it kind of becomes a little bit cloying in my in my book but i mean yeah i can understand this is more or less a kind of a uh, winter stout you know winter warmer so i'm drinking this uh, perhaps at the uh, wrong occasion because we're in april right now so but i mean yeah i had it in my uh, cupboard so i had to try it but okay guys let's go for a final sip and then we will rate it Yeah, mm. so to summarize this beer, guys, a lot of uh, sweet licorice, clove, a lot of kind of uh, malty forward. It's a very malt forward beer for sure. Yeah, as I said, sweet, almost to the point of being uh, cloyingly sweet. Yeah, boozy as well. But I mean, guys, if you're if you're into these kinds of stouts, I definitely think you're gonna like, uh, wanna taste my candy cane from Brewery de Morsleutel out of uh, the, the Netherlands there. Uh, I think you will enjoy it. Uh, for me, well, a little, no, it's not a bad beer, guys. It, to be honest, not a bad beer. Uh, but perhaps it's not right up my alley, to be honest. But I mean, it's not bad, as I said. Uh, rating wise, I'll give it a 3 out of 5. It's a 3 out of 5. It's not bad. I mean, it's kind of a little bit of a complexity to it. Kind of an herbal, uh, malty, boozy kind of complexity to it. But if you like that kind of stout, you will definitely love this one. It will do you proper. So with that said, guys, that was everything I had for today. Uh, you know, subscribe to the channel if you want. Uh, thumb me up if you like the review. If you have tried it, please comment, share your views, uh, give me your opinion. Have a good one. See you next time.